you had a situation where uh, you couldn't work with a known rapper because one of his homies had like paperwork on him. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Can you yeah. say who it is? Uh, nah. I, the only reason I want to say who it is because uh, the person who was lining it up, I don't know if they want me saying who it is because then it might. I don't know if they want the heat because then those people might call. I just don't. You know what I'm saying? But I will say. The, the rapper, right? The only reason, because you might be like, well, why were you tripping? It wasn't him. It was his friend. But his friend was somebody he's always posting every week. You know what I'm saying? Like, always shouting him out in the songs. So I was like, okay, he really stands by him. And if you got if you got bad paperwork, man, it's like, uh, it's just a no-no. You know what I mean? Well, the bad paperwork you were talking about was messing with underage girls. Yep. It wasn't snitching it was uh I, i'm not sure if i don't know if he ever did tell her or whatnot but i know and you know this reminds me of the south park mexican situation oh good so i don't know if you're talking about baby bash or not baby bash no okay you're not because baby bash yeah. used to be signed to south park mexican yeah no not baby bash yeah okay i, so I don't know what you're clear. talking yeah, about no. impulsing or whatever yeah no not baby bash no. okay got yeah. it um and I, I remember me and Baby Bash had a long conversation about this on camera. I think I've seen that yeah, one. Yeah, whereas like South Park, Mexico was like the biggest thing in Texas at one point. But then he went to a strip club, ended up sleeping with a girl that he met at the strip club. The strip clubs are, of course, 18 and up. Yep. The girl ended up being like 13. Mm. She had a baby. Later on, it came out. You know, they, they put the, the numbers together. Yeah, okay. They, they lined yeah. up. Then there were some other situations where he allegedly like molested like his stepdaughter. Oh, so he like did that. it multiple times. Yeah. It was a multiple time situation, and he got like thirty years or something. Yeah, he got just a hellacious amount of time. And yeah. I remember a lot of people were like, "Yo, you should interview him." And I'm like, nah. "Yeah, him too." Like a lot of people support him. I know he's like really big out there, but it's like the way I will always tell people like, it's like, what if that was your daughter? What if that was your shit? You know what I mean? I, no, I always look at shit like that. 13 is 13. Like, like, honestly, like, I don't care yeah. if you meet her in a strip club. You know that this yeah, girl's not up. fucking 18. Yeah. Like, like, you know what I mean? I can There's imagine no 17 or something, you know, maybe if she's kind of tall, but like a 13-year-old. There's no excuse. It's a fucking 13-year-old. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you, you can't yeah. talk your way out of this But one. it's crazy. I, even him, like I said, I see people still, like, supporting that. Um, I don't know. Maybe they just don't go by the same morals or something but yeah that's that's all bad too so basically if he gets out and wants to do a song with you nah nah, nah. nah. you got bad paperwork it's it's just not even a conversation you know what I mean yeah would you work with Gunna uh I, I see a lot of internet shit about him. If he really ratted, no. But like, well, I mean, you, know, you I, saw the video though, right? Nah, nah well okay so, so here's, have, here's what happened yeah. right so he was locked up with an Enrico with Young Thug and everyone else. Right? Yeah, yeah. He basically didn't do anything. He was just arrested in a car with some other people mm -hmm. and that type of thing. So he was offered a plea deal. And in the plea deal, they asked him whether YSL is a criminal gang. And he said, yes, man. Oh, that's telling. And he said, yeah. have you seen members of YSL engage in activities in furtherance of the gang? Yes, ma'am. So let me tell you the excuse people always use to say he didn't tell is they'll say it in the interrogation room, but maybe they don't show up to court. So they'll be like, oh, he never got nobody locked up. But that don't matter. Even if what you say doesn't convict nobody, once you say it, that's telling. Like, yeah, you know I mean, so a lot of people argue with that, but those are squares that don't really know. They don't know the rules. You know what I mean? But that's telling. And that's not even a diss. Nobody owed it, but that's really telling. You know what I mean? Okay, so knowing what I just told you, he reached out to you, and he's he's hot to death right now. Uh, man, I, I can't. No. It's, it's yeah. It's not even like a pride thing or nothing. It's just like I just can't do stuff like that. Yeah. Well, you even said that if you get pulled over with a couple of guys and they find a gun, and you say that's not my gun, you're saying that's snitching. That's a form of it, yeah. That's that's that'll for sure be frowned upon. Yeah, yeah. You ain't gonna look good saying that. Uh, the best thing to say uh, for all the kids watching and stuff is you just say, "Hey, if I'm being charged, I, I'm I need my lawyer." 
That's all you say. That's it. And it's actually safer for you in the long run, uh, like for your conviction and everything. When you lawyer up right away, your case usually will always be better than Hmm. it would have been if you didn't, if you start saying shit. Um, Oh, but I just remember Lil Durk, uh, he gave, wasn't he the one that gave, oh no, that was a different rapper. Lil Durk gave another rapper his money back after he found out he snitched. Yeah, I heard about I, this. I was thinking that was gonna, but no, it was somebody yeah, else, it was, yeah. I think it was Dirk, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So if you had people snitch on you? N- no, uh, I mean, I've had people say my name in cases, but I never, I never, uh, I never like got pulled in for it, but I've for sure seen a, a few people tell that I grew up around, yeah. Okay, so this would be a close friend of yours mm-hmm. who gets jammed up. Mm-hmm and uses his get out jail free card by telling on someone. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's happened a couple times growing up. Yeah. Okay. Did You're you asking ever, me has it happened? Yeah, yeah, happened? yeah. Did you ever talk to that person afterwards? No, never. So that's it. That person becomes dead to you. Dead to me. Yeah. So you yourself. Mm. Let's just say your next door neighbor is killing little kids, would you call the police on him? You have Jeffrey Dahmer living next door to you. He's eating I'm, kids. I'm not calling the cops on nobody, but we're, we're going to get him up out of there, though. You know what I'm saying? But not with the police, though. You know what I mean? So you do it yourself? I'll do it myself before I call the cops. Yeah. So Obviously, if I see a little kid being hurt or kidnapped, but like I'm gonna help that kid if it's right in front of my face. That's a little kid. But I'm, yeah, no, I mean, yeah, I I'm not well, gonna call the cops. Well, you, you, everyone reacts yeah. in that type of way. And then the spur of the moment, you see a, a kid getting hurt. Obviously, you being a father, yeah, for you, know, sure. you, you want to jump into that situation. Like right? a regular civilian. Yeah, I, I, I completely understand them calling the cops. Me, lazy boy, I'm not calling the cops. But I, I'm also not just gonna sit there and let them do. It. I'm gonna walk up on them. You know what I'm saying? gather the troops, whatever, get him up out of there. You know, he won't be there. Right, but you now risk your own freedom by doing that, yeah. right? In the eyes of your community, you're doing the right thing. Yeah. In the eyes of the law, you could have, you're could you potentially going to get charged with murder if you end up killing this guy. Yeah. Even though he deserved it, and everyone would be like, yeah, good job, yeah. but you would still go to court, and you'd still be found guilty of murder, especially if it's if you planned it out, you'd have premeditated murder and everything else like that. Yeah. So you're saying that you would risk your own life, your be- own freedom? Before I call the cops, I'll risk my freedom. So you, would you call the cops for any reason whatsoever? If your house got broken into and you need to claim it with your insurance company. I'll have a girl do it or something. <laughs> But it's your house. You would right. have to ultimately yeah. sign. Calling the-, the ambulance is cool. Like, hey, I need an ambulance. Uh, my, you know, my family member had a heart attack, something like that. That's the ambulance, you know. But- now, listen, I interviewed Tony Yayo, and he was telling me a situation where his dad was having a heart attack, and he couldn't bring himself to call 911. Yeah. Luckily, there was other family members in the house that just grabbed the phone away from him and, and did it. And, and it has been situations where we got to call the ambulance. I still don't do it. I, I just have a, you know, a, a girl family member or somebody else. Call. I don't even like calling the ambulance either. But, it, I mean, if you got to call the ambulance, that's not a cop. You know what I'm saying? They're there to help you not die. But calling the cops, I'm not calling the cops. Nah. For nothing. Nope. For nothing. Nothing in the world to make me call the cops. I just live by a certain code. You know what I mean? There's a lot yeah. of people that do it, ain't no, just I me. Mean, I mean, yeah. I, I don't personally agree with it, but I also don't live the life that yeah. you live. Yeah, you know which is saying? understandable. You know, yeah. like, and I've said this before, if, if, let's just say, someone I knew, you know, had done a serious crime and I'm being accused for it and I had nothing to do with it and he's not saying anything, I'm not going to sit there and do 20 years for him Yeah. when I didn't do shit. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But you also didn't sign up for that type of life. But once we sign up for some, you know what I mean, it's you're taking an oath. I mean, it ain't always going to be fair. You so, know what I mean? So you would do 10 years for somebody over something you didn't do? I'm not I'm not telling on nobody. For no I, reason I'm whatsoever. Not, no reason. I ain't tell what comes with it, so, comes with so, it. I so pray someone it don't. You know, so someone you know is letting you go to prison for them. You see what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like but don't you think that's that that's foul? Uh, it might be foul. But have you, you ever seen that happen? Have you ever tell, seen like you know any of your mean? friends go to jail for something they didn't do? Yep. Yep. And they refuse to tell. Yep. 
How did the person who actually did the crime react to it? Uh, They're living outside, living their life, yeah, girls, I'm not, Yeah, I'm not really partying. sure, but, but they definitely- I'm not asking to name names, I'm yeah, just yeah, saying. They like, definitely, you got, you. If, if that is you, make sure you take care of the homie, I mean, make sure you're always there for, I mean, that's like that the, really the happen, minimum man. you could do, you know what I mean? But yeah. shit happens though, like, like, let's say that did happen where you said that he's not going to take it. He's not going to hate him because of that, because he knows it could have easily been the other way around. It's just part of, part of this street shit. It happens. You know what I mean? Um, it sucks, but it's part of the game that that's, that's why when you jump in this shit, it ain't no game. Like it's serious. It ain't nothing to play with because that could happen. And you got to know that. You know what I mean? Yeah.